At the moment we're sailing from, uh, from Singapore to uh, the Joint Development Area which is situated on the border of Malaysia and Thailand and there we will perform uh, what we call a float over operation. A float over operation is an, uh, a maritime operation where a fully commissioned uh, topside, which is the structure you see in, uh, on the background, uh, is installed onto an already existing structure in the seabed. Uh, which allows the end user to start producing uh, oil, or in this case gas, uh, in the shortest amount of time. The discharge of the platform uh, can be divided in two steps. First we arrive in the field and then we have to anchor into our uh, mooring system. That's a four-point mooring system. Um, this will take about 12 hours, so uh, typically we arrive daybreak uh, on day one, uh, hook up in the mooring system and then on the next day we will do the float oper operation, which is also like a 12 to 18 hour uh, operation. So all in all we should be uh, done in two days. At the moment, uh, we just concluded that the weather at this moment is uh, good enough for us to proceed into the, the mooring spread. Once we, uh, we switched our heading 180 degrees, we moved sideways into the mooring spread, after which the, the Porsche Virtue will start hooking us up to the, to the anchors. And after that, we, uh, we wait for the next forecast to see if we can uh, proceed mating the top side with the jacket.
main advantages of the float over concept, there's actually three advantages. The first one is safety. As we have seen, it's a very safe and controlled way to install heavyweight topsides. On top of that, it uh, reduces dramatically the offshore exposure hours during hookup and commissioning. The second advantage uh, is that it's a fast concept. Uh, if you look at the CPOC project, uh, from the moment that we arrived in the field, in less than 48 hours we installed 18,000 ton topsides. And finally, and that's maybe also a very important uh, advantage, it's a very cost-effective uh, concept, especially if you compare it to the multi-module lifts uh, which are traditionally uh, carried out by heavy lift cranes.